than 6% are without fuel. North Carolina has already declared a state of emergency. The FBI says a private group of hackers called Darkside is responsible. Ed O'Keefe has more. From Florida to North Carolina, drivers made a run for gas waiting in long lines across the southeast in anticipation of a shortage. You don't don't want to be the one that doesn't get gas. The shutdown of the pipeline is also putting major airports in Baltimore, Charlotte, and others on the east coast at risk of low supply. Although there is evidence that the actor's ransomware is in Russia, they have some responsibility to deal with this. Like U.S. Colonial Pipeline, 85% of American critical infrastructure is owned and operated by the private sector. Although there is evidence that the actor's ransomware is in Russia. 85% of American critical infrastructure is owned and operated by the private sector. Although there is evidence that the actor's ransomware is in Russia. 85% of American critical infrastructure is owned and operated by the private sector. Shalom, I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Rakak Dash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Said I was going to do this short video. I don't I have no idea what's going on with the uh, lines for gas. But they are through, I, I don't know, it's like, it's got to be about 100 cars. I seen this yesterday, and I was just going off a, a response of Apostle Tahar's video. Um, I'm going to get a little more footage. I don't know if there's some super special going on, but I've never, never waited in a gas line this extremely long. It's like 100 cars, and this was yesterday as well. So I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe they have a super special, super prices. Also notice how everybody I've spoke with and myself being into, you know, dealing with cars, how the, um, the gas just, just tends to burn a whole lot quicker than it did before. So these are the lines. For gas. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Also, a sincere shalom to you, other elders in Akim and brethren, okay, you followers of the truth. And let me say shalom to the elect. Okay, this is uh, actually a two way response. Uh, which I saw Apostle Tahar go into, actually he put up a clip of uh, fuel shortages, but then the younger brother in my camp, uh, he did a uh, video called Fuel Shortages, Part of the Fall. Now, and I noticed uh, before I go on that um, the fuel shortages was from Florida all the way up to Virginia. Okay, and Maryland is next. So you know that people are from Virginia uh, coming up to Maryland to uh, get gas and to get um, maybe extra gas, maybe got containers in their truck or cars or whatever. Uh, so this is what we're seeing. And in the video, in the clip, the intro, the uh, the man says these are, a lot of this is owned by private uh, corporations, which he tells you what's in America, there's corporations, America's just corporate, you know. Um, when you, this is why they call it the United States. You know, they're united under a federation, but they're not really united because they have different laws. But that's another video. Um, then he goes on to say Russia is possibly involved, and you see all these things that's going on around us. 
So anyway, I wanted to go into this video because um, uh, as, as I saw the video Apostle Tahar did, I looked and saw um, yesterday um, cars was loaded up from a gas station going all the way out into the highway. Now, I don't know about that. There was other gas stations that are full, at which also noticed that once upon a time I can just drive up to a gas station, at least a gas station. It might be two or three in a, in a zone, an area. But now that I notice lately that they're all kind of backing up, you know. So uh, I just wanted to touch on that, and this is what uh, we're seeing. Okay, we're seeing uh, shortages fuel shortages um, we don't know how far how fast this is going to go go but we know these are the prophecies okay we know this is the prophecies and people are comfortable but we can also see that during the time of the uh, the beginning of the pandemic that uh, when the food shortages started happening the Christian way flew out the window Everybody was for themselves. You'll hear people say, hey, just take care of your family and yourselves. What does that mean? That means there's no more uh, uh, love and the Christian love, as they say. Scripture says the love of many shall wax cold. But uh, let me get a scripture real quick before I continue. Second, uh, Second Peter 3 and 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness, some don't believe. Okay, but it's long suffering to us upward. See, a lot of people, you know, we say this over and over, over and over, and then people say, "Oh, them GMS guys, they're always saying this stuff, and we don't see the the chip, we don't see this, and we don't see that." That's because they're counting slackness. Okay, uh, but to us upward, because we believe. Who uh, it says, not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance all the ones that truly believe you know all you Israelites out there who believe if you're so called black Latino Native American and you uh, are out in the world so to speak that you would come to repentance and believe what we're telling you is the truth now what is one of the things the Lord is not slack concerning his promise it says uh, verse Matthew 24 and 8 and ye shall hear wars and, and rumors of wars. Uh, see that ye be not troubled, for all things, all these things must come to pass. But the end, but the end is not yet. For a nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences. You know, one of these famines, if the food, the, if the gas is cut off, the food doesn't come. So uh, the fuel <clears throat> could be considered a form of a, a, a famine. Okay, and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these things are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, right? And ye shall be hated of all nations uh, for my name's sake. Now, here's what I want to get into. I, I decided to go look up this word when it says, and shall kill you. This has already begun. They should be uh, uh, deliver you up. Uh, they. Uh, Demas is hate, you know, a hate group. Uh, when it says uh, they shall kill you, let's see here, shall kill you. G615, G615 says to kill any way, whatever. Okay? Try to, to tarnish your reputation as well. Okay? Or literally kill you. To destroy, to allow, to perish. Okay? There'll be some. Who uh, can't get the proper proper medical attention, so to speak, which we trust in the herbs and the health, but then you there are going to be incidents where you won't even be able to get certain things. Okay, distinguish to abolish to really just wipe you off and rub you out off the grid, so to speak. Just say you're nothing, you're nobody. Okay, some of you who get certain benefits or have certain jobs or. You know, you may have unemployment, or you might be getting some kind of benefit. You know, they're they're going to try to seek to find a way to get rub you out. And let's say you try to work for yourself, that would be your best, probably your best bet. But even then, 
they will deem you as uh, someone that is, uh, uh, you know, not fit for society. So you go try to, their cash will be done away with, more than likely, it's pretty much done now. So you go try to cash a check or try to get money on your card, they'll find a way and they'll, you'll be flagged, so to speak, okay? It says that to inflict mortal death will actually be put to death. It says to deprive of spiritual life and procure e eternal misery in hell, right? So they're gonna, when they deliver you up, they're gonna make you miserable, okay? And it's gonna be our people that do it, make you miserable, maybe your own family. This is when they go to Matthew 10 and 35, I will, um, I would, uh, what do you say? I will set variants, father against his mother, son against the daughter, and so forth and so on. Uh, Second Ezra is 15 and 19, and a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Okay, this is, this fuel could be this big factor of these scriptures, which we believe to be. When that fuel stops, that fuel shuts down, you got big problems, okay? but shall destroy their houses with the sword, whether it's a gun, whether it's a knife, whether it's a baseball bat, uh, that's an instrument of to kill, okay? And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. But always remember what Yahweh Bashim Yahushua said, okay? Let's go to Isaiah. Sometimes we, that's the only scriptures I had, but as we speak, <clears throat> as we read, you know, sometimes scriptures uh, scriptures that come to mind because the Most High made promises. Then that's what I read in was the second Second Peter. The Most High made His promises. Uh, Isaiah sixty-five and let me go on here. Fourteen. Behold, my servant shall sing. Okay, let me see what it says. Therefore, 13, therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. So the Most High is building us up not to be able to, you know, that's why we don't, we wouldn't go out and, and uh, riot. We wouldn't go out and make a fool of ourselves, you know, trying to make it, you know, wanting, seeking some form of justice. We wouldn't do that. So we understand what's going on. This is why we don't get all uh, bent out of shape. Because people who get bent out of shape have a belief that things will get better. And that they have their right. But they don't understand who sets everything up under this authority. Ultimately the most high. But who who is set up on the left hand side to bring hell. And this is why the Christian church has always taught uh, it's all about love and peace. Just believe in Jesus and he'll make a way. <laughs> if you can believe that. There's a lot of our people that believed in Jesus and you see where they're at now. Okay? And the ones that you do who feel like Jesus saved you, it was because to give you that encouragement to continue to live in Jesus until the ultimate day of destruction. He created all things for himself, Proverbs 16, and yeah, included the wicked for the day of evil. Anyway, I just wanted to touch on this short video. So it was something to bring forth the light. Um, the brother of uh, GMS Lines 15 uh, did a video on that. You can check it out. Uh, that's pretty much all I have on this. Shalom. On to the next one.